My name is Sally Grease. I'm Ryan Ball. I'm Monica Spencer. When it comes to occupational therapy, caregivers oftentimes um, provide 90% of the care to care recipients. Oftentimes these people are spouses of elderly, they are parents of children, or they're an adult child who has a lot of responsibilities themselves while they're caring for an elderly adult. So caregiver burnout can impact not only the care recipient, but the caregiver's health as well. So oftentimes, too, caregivers don't consider their own health whenever they are caring for their loved one. They will suffer from depression, stress, mental anguish. They are hard to diagnose because they don't want to admit that they have these struggles themselves, and they're more focused on, <laughs> they are more focused on <laughs> the care recipient themselves. You're gonna hurt our time because I'm laughing. Uh, <laughs> There's also a stigma around the support systems that are in place and going to support groups. So we see that there is a gap in the treatment plan, that it doesn't just focus on the care recipient, or that it does just focus on the care recipient and not also on the caregiver. And caregivers need appropriate mental and social support so that they can ensure their ability to care for their loved one. So the way we propose to address these problems is through a solution called Caregiver Me Time. Uh, organized and supervised by OT professionals, Caregiver Me Time provides valuable time away to individuals with intensive caregiving duties for personal, social, and mental health uh, through care recipient supervision services and optional group activities. So basically, Caregiver Me Time is a two-pronged approach. Uh, at its core, it's a care recipient uh, supervision service. So the caregiver can more or less um, uh, leave the care recipient with an OT group with other uh, care recipients, which allows the OT to get in an additional touch point, uh, especially in the rural areas around here. Uh, secondly, and this will depend on OT resources, um, group activities, so caregiver group activities like a cooking class uh, or something like that. Uh, there's also opportunities for combined group activities where care recipients and caregivers get together, guest speaker, wellness sessions, something along those lines. Uh, the general topic should be light and relaxed, um, and the focus should generally be on keeping people coming back. So again, taking the pressure and the overwhelming aspect of it uh, off the table. Uh, some advantages to caregiver me time, it's applicable to most caregiver situations. Um, it functions like a support group without the stigma, as Sally allu alluded to. Uh, it's an additional touch point for OT professionals. Now that's a pretty critical point, uh, especially when resources are, are slim. Um, there's flexible participation options for the caregiver and for the OT professional. The caregiver can, uh, hey, can, uh, <laughs> the caregiver can uh, just choose to participate in the supervision service alone or they can participate in the group activities, whatever they really need to do for their own uh, purposes. Uh, the, the program is scalable, it's very customizable, it allows for the OT professional to get pretty creative with some of these group activities or uh, some of the options, the frequency, and uh, so on. Uh, there, it also allows for partnerships with other organizations that do similar things or provides a similar service. Uh, and finally, there's plenty of volunteer opportunities with Caregiver Me Time uh, as far as schools, churches, and other organizations. So through our research, we discovered many external drivers that relate to this topic. And you can see our three topper um, on the screen here. Indiana's elderly <coughs> population is growing at a rapid rate. Um, by 2025, the population is set to grow by 5%. Um, by 2050, the counties of Vanderbilt, Warren, Davies, and Gibson, their elderly population could grow by 25%. The dominant force behind Indiana's growing elderly population is the, is the aging baby boom generation. More and more homeowners are opting to upgrade their homes with features to accommodate future needs that will improve safety and functionality so they can live in their homes longer and forego going into retirement or nursing homes. So longer that the elderly population is staying in their homes and that trend is called aging in place. Um, the more that they're going to need um, a family member or a neighbor or friend to help with those caregiving needs. Um, the economics of the long-term care, as you can see, um, it's 
very expensive, about approximately $257 billion a year. Um, and that will increase over time as the cost of annual health care costs also increase annually. Um, caregiving also has a substantial impact on businesses and organizations. Lost productivity due to caregiving needs um, costs businesses about $17.1 billion a year. Um, and the opportunity in our region, as you can see, um, in Indiana alone, there are 600,000 caregivers putting in over 650 million hours. Um, families need information and their own specialized support services to, preser to preserve their critical role as caregivers. It can be <laughs> difficult to bring that kind of support services to the rural areas <laughs> um, in, in the area. Um, this is where OT professionals that are already in the individual homes making an impact, building a relationship with the patients and the caregivers can educate the caregiver about their own health, well-being, and support. This program is highly collaborative with the numerous non-for-profit non organizations and healthcare institutions in the state of Indiana and in this region. This program can be adapted and um, incorporated into existing OT programs. Um, there are existing programs of this nature, but they are very marginal, and they're more in the urban areas, not so much as rural. So that's Caregiver Me Time. Um, that, that's it for us. Thanks.